Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download the MySQL community server. In order to do that, all you need to do is go to Google and type in MySQL community server. Once you do that, simply click on this link and it will bring you to this page. I am currently using Mac, so then I am going to go here and download uh, the x86 version. So let's click on download. Now it will ask you to create an account. You can create an account if you want to, but I'm simply going to click on no thanks. Just start my download. So let's do that. And I'm going to click on save. So just four more seconds left. Um, okay. And now I'm going to simply click on this. And I have this, uh, it's a, a dot pkg or dot package file. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to click on open. So now this says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So I'm going to click on allow and then I'm going to simply go with all the default options. So I'm going to click on continue, continue. I'm going to agree to all terms and conditions. I'm going to click on install. It's going to ask me for my password again. So let's do this. It's writing files. And then let's click on next and it's asking me for a password. So simply choose a password that you will remember. So I'm going to select something. Now that I've entered the password, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish. And the password that I just entered was not the MySQL password. It was the password for my MacBook. So as you can see, I have successfully installed MySQL.